All right, guys. Um, I got the trough set up over here. Uh, I use this pipe here in my truck, and I can run the slop into that trough. I actually got a whole slop this last time, so uh, to give you an idea of what it looks like, it's basically ground up corn. That's nice because I don't have to sit here and grind it. I really don't need it. I just want to get the calf started on it because uh, we're going to. Sorry about the wind. We're going to. Uh, we're going to wean calves day or tomorrow, or actually tomorrow or the next day. Uh, it's kind of muddy, and uh, in order to get the calves out to the farm, it, you know, there's uh, it's basically pasture. And it's kind of muddy, and I don't have a. Uh, an attachment for my tractor yet to uh, pull the gooseneck around so uh, it'll be two trips I'd say two maybe three I don't know and uh, they'll be over here and the wet nose it's good to see All these calves are chewing their cud in this pen. It's good to see. There's a warning here. Two of them are eating. Um, I got the sawdust in here. I like it. I don't have to bed them every day. I could probably go two or three weeks before I gotta stir it up. Uh, you can take a uh, chisel plow. I probably won't do it in this barn, but I'll probably just use cultivators with some weights on them. Kind of stir it up a little bit. And it's uh, a good way to keep fresh bedding in there. I did stockpile some of it. So I'll, uh, I'll be able to bed. Uh, I'll probably just end up getting a load of slop every day. Um, I'll, I'll dump one load over there. It'll take them two days to eat it, and it'll take them two days to eat it over here. There's more cattle over here, but we'll, uh, we'll see how it works out. Uh, so these calves are eight weeks. Eight, nine, nine weeks, I think. They're doing pretty good, I guess. <clears throat> They're content and happy. It's pretty chilly. It's windy and in the lower 50s right now. So it's chilly compared to the 80s that we had past weekend, past week. So I got to sell a load of straw tomorrow, which is good. There's about nine loads left because I need to get to work on that barn and get ready for the cows. They'll be calving in February. So, uh, I get to work on that. Uh, I got a little idea. I'm gonna sell, I'm gonna try to buy calves. I'm gonna try this. I don't know if it's gonna work out or not. I gotta do some real thinking on it if I got time. But I'm gonna try to buy calves in every quarter. So four quarters to a year. I'm gonna get a group of calves to each quarter. And that barn will be for 100 to 200 pound calves and half of this barn probably this back section will be from 200 to 400 pound calves once they reach 400 pounds they'll go to this section of the barn and from 400 to 550 they'll get started on a little bit of silage uh, get them trying it out so I'll be able to run them in and out right here and from 550 to 750, 800, 900, whatever size it is at the end of the, the fourth quarter, uh, they'll be at the other farm on slop. And I'm gonna try to maintain this flow of cattle in and out. Um, what I normally do is get about 75 of them every fall and raise a bunch of them and, and sell them all. And sometimes you break even, sometimes you make money. and 
it's uh sometimes you don't do so well if you lose some so uh i want to try to hit every um if it stays down all year oh well maybe i'll be able to buy some cheap calves then uh won't have as much input but if it goes up one quarter and goes back down the next maybe i'll break even on a group make a little bit on the next so i want to try to spread my uh spread it out over a year instead of just hitting the market every every year in like january february is when i usually sell them i uh, sell the big calves so i want to give this a try uh it's going to take a year for this whole thing to get started so if i can squeeze in six to eight weeks and i can get some calves started i'm going to give it a try this new setup doesn't take long in the summertime i plan on using some uh floats and water hose water hoses so whenever we're doing straw working late nights it won't take me but you know 10 minutes to feed here and then just keep silage out at the other farm for those calves so uh i hope that uh, it'll work out um we got about three quarters inch rain uh these beans are green stemmed and ready to go the moisture's right uh, they're really hard to run. We're going to try to get these out and get some weed in. Uh, got 140 acres of beans yet to run. and We want to try to get another 100 acres of, of weed in. And I don't think we're going to be able to get the weed in. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll dab along at it. See what we can do. But it's going to be muddy and calm for rain every other day. So Quite a change in the weather. We'll probably have a warm December, the way everything's going. But uh, ma uh, maybe Friday we might be able to run, uh, you know, this field or that field or this other field over here. Uh, we got to run the field at the other farm. Still got some lease ground to run, so hopefully. Uh, get some stuff done uh, there's one field of early beans that we lease down the road uh, like I said I had to go back in and replant some of it so we got early beans and late beans in the same group so we're just gonna wait till the whole thing's ready uh, probably have a little bit of trouble with it but this I know y'all can't hear them rattling but they're rattling in there and the stem's green on some of them and some of them stem's ready to go. It just, it just breaks in half. So, um, I don't know. We did get a frost, so it knocked off just about all the leaves. It was a pretty good little frost, so. Anyway, um, we'll be selling some hogs here pretty soon. The price did come up on the hogs. Uh, Pretty good, uh, pretty good jump. It went from 36 cents to 50 cents. So we did that in like three weeks or a month, whatever it was. I didn't keep up with it real close. So uh, very volatile market. Hogs are. I don't like all this temperature swing either. I had to get a few shots for respiratory. I really got to keep an eye on them when they're in this barn. Um, this barn not so much, but, but that other barn is definitely a problem. I'd rather have hutches, but I don't want to buy them. <laughs> so uh, I'm just going to have to buy medication. Um, Medicine is pretty much it's pretty cheap, but as soon as you see them start breathing heavy or snot nose, you got to get on it pretty quick because it'll turn into scarred lungs and then they can't breathe the next summer and they'll be having trouble so uh we did have a a little bit of sleet fall uh it's kind of weird but i guess it's uh pretty cold up there so uh got a few little ice pellets but all right i've gone long enough uh i'll uh i'll keep in touch thanks for watching